Hi, I'm Mel uh, and I'm here today, um, I'm Mel Losky and I'm here today to show you some clinical skills and the first one we're going to be doing is the catheter stream urine sampling. Um, so we're going to use the new protocol that this clinical skill should follow, so it's not the exact one in the Royal Marsden but it's the one the test centres are accepting now, okay? Um, and without much ado, we'll start. So prior to starting this station, I'm just going to confirm with the examiner that my three-way ID check has been completed, my patient's allergy status has been confirmed, and I've also obtained informed consent for this procedure. Have I obtained all those, examiner? Yes. Brilliant, okay. Um, and now I'm going to start getting the things I'll need for this procedure. So, we are going to be using a uh, not full sterile um, aseptic technique. We're going to be using the smart site key part um, uh, techniques for maintaining sterility and infection control during this procedure. So I'm going to make sure this trolley has been washed and cleaned with soap and water in the last 24 hours. I'm going to presume that's the case. Is that right, examiner? Yes. Fantastic. I'm going to don an apron. I always put the apron on early, guys, to make sure that I remember to put it on. Okay. Um, the apron is worn uh, as PPE because it protects the patient um, from the microbes on my uniform and it also protects me from the bodily fluids that I'll be exposed to during this procedure. After I've got my apron on, I'm going to gel my hands, palm to palm, backs of hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, rotational rubbing of fingertips. I'm going to clean my thumbs and also rotationally rub my wrists and allow my hands to dry. Okay, so the items, the first item I'm going to need is going to be a tray. I'm going to presume as well that it has been washed and cleaned with soap and water in the last 24 hours and it's visibly clean. I'm going to use a 70% Clinel wipe to clean it. Using the zigzag technique, I clean the edges last and then the outside of it last as well. I'll put the tray on the trolley. The other items I'm going to need for this procedure uh, is a 10 ml syringe. That's for aspirating the urine sample. This is intact and it's in date. I'm going to need two alcohol swabs, again, they are intact and they expire in the future. I'm going to need some clamps. Um, I don't need to clean these, cl these clamps, but if I really wanted to be perfect, I would. <laughs> They're visibly clean. And now I'm going to let them air dry on the trolley. I'll obviously need a sample pot um, to obtain my specimen. I'll put it in that pot there. And I'm going to need hand gel. And I'm also going to take some gloves with me. Okay. I will also take with me, if available on the table, some test centres put them out, some don't, um, an incontinence pad or inco sheet, you may know it as, um, just to put into my patient to maintain the cleanness and stop the sheet from getting damp if there's any spillages during this procedure and I'll put that into the trolley. Okay I think we're now ready to go to the patient.